given that you're involved in about four out of five transactions in the industry in Canada, are you concerned that you might have problems down the line if, if Cantrust, for example, were to sell itself? No, I mean, we're going to continue to, in any industry that's ma that's maturing quickly or growing quickly, I should say, you're going to see substantial M&A activity. People want to be, there's a premium to be the largest, the biggest uh, company out there. And to do that, you're going to see that consolidation activity. So we've seen a lot of activity in Canada in the past years. We advised Aurora on many of its transactions and Med Relief on its $3 billion sale. And going forward, you see a lot of that activity in the U.S. Again, uh, we advise Cresco, multi-billion dollar market cap company on origin. And Select, we sold to Cure for billions of dollars. And of course, that whole canopy and uh, acreage transaction we advised on, and a number of others, Green Growth Brands, Moxie. I can go on. We see a significant amount of M&A activity as companies try and establish themselves as the dominant leader in what is an emerging industry. And as they mature, I mean, you mentioned, obviously, there have been stumbles. Cantrust is the most recent. Bruce Linton being pushed out um, at Canopy. I, where, when does the maturation happen? Well, if you're talking to investors who don't get in on the ground floor but could actually face some stock price stumbles along the way, how long are we talking about? Well, I, I think we've got quarters and quarters, if not years, for this industry to continue to mature. There's continued evolution, as we see. We still don't have federal legalization in the U.S. The Europe is just nascent and just opening up. There's other jurisdictions around the world. We've got bankers in every one of these countries, five research analysts. We're incredibly focused on the sector, not only domestically in Canada and obviously in the U.S., where I am today at our Boston Growth Conference, but we're focused on this sector globally, and we are years away from this from this sector playing out on the consumer side dan uh, are you starting to laser in on those that do have the real innovations the intellectual property they can protect as this as we start to build out that space yeah, I mean, there's a, whole, there's a whole value chain that's being created in the cannabis sector from, as you suggested, delivery mechanisms, strains and R&D, where people are spending hundreds of millions of dollars to build, to build that, to things as simple as inventory systems and floor plan layouts to security companies. It's a massive industry that's being developed around the cannabis sector. I mean, the combined market capitalization of these companies is over $100 billion, and it's really created a whole network of companies, all of which we're very active in.